Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlogger.com, and I've already showed you how to root the Nexus 5 using the CF method. But today I'm going to show you a little toolkit by a developer named Wugfresh. Um, he's been making these Nexus toolkits for pretty much all of the Nexus devices for a while. Um, but this one he's just come out with for the Nexus 5, and it allows us to root the device and also flash a custom recovery image on the device really easily. So, here's how to do that. Okay, so first you've got to be using a Windows computer. Uh, this program only works for Windows. Uh, download the program in question, the Wugfresh Nexus Toolkit, by clicking on that link there, scrolling down on the developer's page, and clicking on the first thing under download, which is this .exe file, and save that to your desktop. Then once it's downloaded, you're going to double click it. Uh, it might tell you that it's protected you, but it's not. So click more info, then run anyway and use the installer, yes, to finish the installation process. Eventually, it will ask you what model you're running. So first, you're going to select the device you have, which in this case should be the Nexus 5, because you're watching this video. And then it's going to ask you the build. You can find that by going on your device and pulling down the notification tapping that icon, then settings, then scrolling all the way down to about phone. Scroll all the way down and you'll see Android version here and build number here. This is what you're going to select in this dropdown. So for me it's this and then hit apply and click OK and wait for it to update all of its necessary files. Every time that it asks you uh, to download a file, just hit OK and allow it to download that file. It's going to do that a few times. And on the device, you're going to go scroll down on the notification, tap the icon on the corner, tap settings, scroll all the way down, tap about phone, scroll all the way down again, and continue to tap build number until it says you are a developer. Hit back, then developer options, and scroll down to USB debugging, check it on, hit OK hit home, and then plug the device in via USB cable. If something like this pops up on your computer, say, I mean on your phone, always allow from this computer, hit OK, and we're going to select unlock. Click OK. Click yes. And when prompted, you're going to push volume up on your device and power to select yes. And it should continue doing its thing. And once the device fully boots up, just skip through the setup process really quick and pull down the notification bar. We're going to re-enable USB debugging, so we're going to tap that button again. Settings, scroll all the way down, about phone, all the way down, keep tapping build number. So it says your developer, then back, then developer options, then tap USB debugging on, click OK, hit home, and unplug the device and plug it back in. And when it asks you this, hit always allow and click OK. And on the computer, check custom recovery on because we want to flash that, it'll give us a lot of fun stuff, and hit root. Click OK. and wait for it to do its thing. Okay, and eventually your device is gonna just reboot and you'll see this screen on your computer. And then on your device, you're going to open the app drawer, swipe over to SuperSU and open it. No thanks. Click refresh. Should be good to go there. And then open the app drawer again. Go to BusyBox. Open that, click Grant, close that, and wait for the Smart Install to finish loading. Click OK, and he recommends you change System Bin to System X Bin, and hit Install, Smart Install, and wait for that to finish. Once that's done, it'll say, congratulations, it was successful. You can hit the home button and you're all set. 
you're now rooted and have a custom recovery image. If you want to flash custom ROMs, we're here to head to our site, click on ROMs, and then the Nexus 5, uh, and you'll see a list of all of the ROMs that we have for this device. Uh, you can also check out under how to's and then the Nexus 5 on our site to see other how to's once you've been rooted. Enjoy. Quick tip, if you ever want to get into recovery mode now that you have a custom recovery, hold down power to turn off the device, hit power off, hit OK. Once it's completely powered down, hold down volume down and power at the same time. And once you get this screen, tap volume up a couple times to get to recovery, press power to select it. And eventually you'll be presented with the custom recovery image, which you can then use to do all the things I mentioned before. Enjoy. And there you go. I hope that helped some of you. And if you'd like to check out some of our other tips and tricks or other how-to videos, feel free to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, or subscribe to our YouTube channel.